First thing in the morning, got to feel up. I had two days off for rain. Doing a nice cool breeze in this morning. Oh, it feels so nice. Probably have to take, uh, probably have to take the sweater off here in a minute. Yeah, we're going to see to here. Another real nice one there. First thing in the morning. Come on, focus. Look at that, eh? Nice view. Yeah, it's going to be a good day. Well, here I am in my new quarter. I'm right on the sideline. There was another block over there. A couple other guys were way up the hill up there. Pretty cool looking though, eh? Not that far down. Yeah. So I got a bit of a low point right in the, not quite the middle of this, of this face here. Uh, my quarter, like from that far side to here, it was only like three tree lengths across. So I've got this whole spot to myself. And just over there is a helipad and just right beside the helipad is my partner. So we're actually quite close. Um, you know, five minutes, not even five minutes to my partner if there was an accident. So it's kind of nice. I got this whole area to myself, but uh, you know, I don't need to double up. So it's kind of nice. Yeah. Look at all that moss and greenery. Looks cool. Oh yeah, check out that stump over there. Right on the edge of the boundary, that big one. There we go. You see they had a, they jacked that one. You see in the, in the left side of the stump, you cut a window in there for a jack. I guess it was leaning towards the creek here. Looks like they had a big fur, hook, hockey stick butt fur, or a pistol grip, there's a couple names for it. The big swoop at the butt there. I guess maybe it was leaning heavily this way and there's, for some reason I came over down in the draw here. Smashed into the rock there.
Yeah, and it has the springboard, so let's zoom back in. You see the little springboards there? Yeah, that would have been a fun one. Okay, back to work. I forgot my tripod, so next take, I'll, uh, I'll find something to show you guys. Okay, so here's my next tree. Um, top's dead. And on this side, get a school marm on the bottom there. See a branch that turned into another tree top? That's what we call a school marm. The top of the main part is broken. Looks like the school marm may have broken the top of that one too. So, I got this cedar here that's leaning heavy downhill on that way. Right there, see? This one. And those two are right on the line. I don't want to throw it this way because it'll break. But if I angle it down below that stump, I could save out. Most of it will save out, but it's going to roll a ways. But I figure I could, wouldn't be much wedging. Put it, let's see, like right in here. Throw it right down there. So and have it, hopefully that stump will hold it up. So I drop it right here and I roll down to that stump there. And if it does it, you know, if it rolls down the hill, as long as, as long as I save it out, most of it out anyway. Yeah. Um, I'll probably aim it for that sapling right there. The sapling right there. That's what I'll do.
Okay, see the middle's rotten right out. I had to correct my, well not correct my aim, but I had to finish the, the far side. It wasn't quite straight across. There's a lot of rot in there. <clears throat> All right. I got a cat face there, it's hollow. Hopefully this isn't gonna be a hassle for me. We'll see. Oh, I'll show you guys something. Then. He's 61 over there, I'll show you. There he is. Yeah, that's a long flight. The big elevation drop from the, where he's flying the wood, picking up the wood and flying it down in the road. It's a long ways.
Yeah, that was an easy one. But because of the rot, she split. That's the way it, get, way it goes, you know. At least they'll get some value out of that still. Seed is so valuable, they'll still take it. Yeah, anyway. Um, yeah, it's all small wood. They're looking up the hill, there's a couple decent ones, like this one here is probably five feet. It's got a blow down the high side of it. But lots of small stuff, hey? Okay? Pretty small. Not a lot of interesting stuff to show you. But I'll film something here throughout the days. Yeah, so if any of you guys are interested in watching some videos, of an actual helicopter log in the wood i have an old video and i'll put a link to that video in the description because it's an older one but it's really really awesome i think it's called like epic heli login or something like that um it's a really good one for the air crane um, which is one of the biggest helicopters that they use in heli logging uh and then there, there's some guys on Instagram. Can't remember their, uh, can't remember their uh, Instagram name, but there are some really good uh, heli riggers out there. They got some wicked um, pictures and videos. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll try and find, if I can find a way to put a link in the description for this Instagram um, profiles, I'll do that. Yeah, so you guys can see what it's like to be working underneath that giant helicopter and ripping logs and getting up close to the big choppers there. <laughs> it's so cool. But I'm rarely around the helicopters because a lot of the time when the helicopter comes here, I'm already finished the job and I'm already somewhere else. But this job is a big job. So the, the, the big helicopter, the 61, on this job is already here before we're finished, right? So... That's why I'm getting some footage here now. But I just can't get up close to it. And I can't film anything. Like I can't go right up to the helicopter and do any filming or anything around camp because um, they don't want anything like that shown on my videos. They don't want any like logos or any anything to identify companies or location, all that kind of stuff. Um, and so that's, well, I'm making sure I don't do that because I don't want to get fired. I don't want to lose my job. Uh, so just the way it goes, you guys have to find all that other footage from other job sites, other guys. So there's nothing I can do about that. So this is what pays the bills for me. Um, so I got to go back to work. So see you guys in the next tree. Okay. So I moved my mic. So it's hooked onto my suspenders instead of right here. Because usually it pulls it down like this. And it's pulling against the back of my neck every time I look up. It's kind of annoying. So I put it on my suspender so we'll see if it stays. The mic there. So I got a blowdown that I'm dealing with right now. The blowdown's probably been here over 100 years laying down in here. It's so old. It's got moss and trees growing on it. Suspended up in the air. I've already took a chunk off the butt right there. Cut it there and then it pinched together and then I dropped another cut right here to get this whole thing to drop down right and then there's the piece right there and then when this thing dropped it pushed this tree off its stump there like it was all rotten and there's this thing was kind of bowed over and with all that weight that dropped down and just pushed this right over now it's hung up right there it should be easy to drop though just kind of supposed a couple times and then you can see that it's suspended up in the air all the way even the very top it's suspended way up in the air. And then I got this heavy downhill leaner, or maybe it's hung up. Oh yeah, it looks like it's hung up in the branches of this bigger one. So it, this should be fairly easy. This should be fairly easy to get down. It's gonna be a couple strategic cuts. This should be, should be easy, so we'll see here. And you get a bit of a cool breeze. A little bit windier or cooler I'd have to go put my sweater on okay. um, actually I think what I'll do is I'll get this 
this guy down first, this little snag here. I think it might be hung up in another sapling up the hill. Shouldn't be too bad though.
Okay. So my partner, he's got some limbs by the pad. Yeah, so the pad, you can't land on it right now for the next few minutes. So uh, yeah, he's just clearing the branches around the pad, then the pad will be open again. But we got the pad up there for those guys. So it's fine. There's uh, five of us right in this area. Two guys that way, two guys over there. And me. Okay. Oh yeah, and that one there is probably gonna get hung up if I try and fall it up the hill. So I wanna wait till um, I have a good pusher. Cause if I were to do it now, I got other trees in the way uh, of the pusher. So it's not a good time to follow this tree right now. I'll get it later. It's no conflict, it's leading up the hill, so it's fine. Hopefully the camera's still there. Sitting precariously in that branch. Okay. <laughs> So it looks like I went a little far in the bottom cut. It's a bit of a Dutchman in the tree there. So I'll clean that out, show ya. See how I went a little bit too far in the bottom? So I'll clean that out. See, I'll show you this here. See? I can put it right between those trees, this opening right here, right, right down here. But it's gonna get hung up in the branches for sure. So I have to anticipate that actually happening and be ready for a pusher tree somewhere over here. One of these trees will smash her down.
Gotta cut the flare out for the wedge where well, the flare will just split apart. Oh, I think she's going. Oh no. We got a bit of a breeze, eh? Kind of going against me, it looks like. I'm using the power wedge. Except I want to double up my power wedges. What do we got here? Get that wedge back. Well, that worked out quite well. Yeah. Oh, to uh, go down there and see if I can get a cut in that thing. As 10 1 might be around there. It's up in the air, though. See how it's suspended up in the air right there? Ground is way down there. It's... I'll have to go check it out and see if it's safe enough to buck. Yeah. Right on. There's my face here. There's the heavy little hill leaner. The side line is right there, orange ribbon. Another orange ribbon, another one up there. I can see it way up there. So the line, as it goes up the hill, it angles in this way a little bit. Yeah. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next tree.
First log, I think, is actually a little light. The first one's actually probably a little light because it's oval shaped, and I, and I measured it on the widest part. I didn't quite realize how oval shaped it was, so it'll be a bit light. All right, there he goes. You can, they can uh, pick that one up with a pole, with a light pole or something. You can, there's a bunch of poles. Well, there's a pole right on top of this yellow cedar here. There's quality control coming into our pad. There's the, there he is. We're gonna make sure 
make sure we're bucking everything properly. Um, so yeah, the chopper, the big 61, you can pick up that chunk there in this pole at the same time, or this smaller pole right here. So even though it's, it might be a bit light, they can still uh, add another log to it and get a full weight turn. So yeah, I mean, it's mother nature. and Not everything goes exactly as planned or, you know, you just gotta make the best of it. But the top there has a big split in the middle. And so I figured I'd just top it because if I, if I the, the rest of the top of that tree there still had some good wood in it and I didn't want to cut it off. It has a big split. So the good thing about bucking it, or another good thing is that split won't uh, split all the way through to the butt because I bucked it in a, a second log. So yeah, I'm going to get this hemlock here because I want to get hemlocks on the bottom and I don't think this will make a pull. I mean, not pull, pardon me, uh, boomstick. I think it's too small. But yeah, so I'm gonna get this one next. And, you know, and, and then I'll get this one. And then again, I hope it's a nice cedars I'll dump in right here where I'm standing. But I wanna get all like the non-merch, the wood that has no value, I wanna get that on the bottom. So I already threw my ax over there. <clears throat> and I'll just dump it, probably the high side of that yellow cedar stump right, right there in the middle of the screen. Probably dump it right there. And then it'll probably be sitting right on top of this uh, stump here. Yeah, that's where I'm thinking of, I'm gonna put it. Yeah. Okay, well, I guess I'll see you guys after my audit. Well, I got a bit of time because they're gonna see the two guys over there. I got a bit of time. I might get some interesting trees down yet, but probably not, it's pretty easy. Pretty easy going here. You know, um, maybe not so much for uh, someone who's not very experienced, but even then it's not that hard. I don't know. <laughs> I've been falling for over 21 years now, so it needs to be some pretty nasty stuff to be challenging. <laughs> but this is pretty easy going. Uh, uh, for the most part, easy walking in the bush and areas are real thick with shallow. It's kind of annoying. If you look up the hill, Schlell's like knee deep. It's not very high, but you got this, all these saplings. They have a whole bunch of saplings. Way up there, you can see some saplings. That can be a pain, but they're easy to cut. And it's not that steep. I mean, it's steep, but it's not, it's not really, really steep. So it's, this is pretty easy going here. And the trees aren't that big, you know? And, uh, and lemon's easy. Lemon and bucking's quite easy. The only real challenging part is when you get these small blocks, but you got these like these draws and these hogs backs and draws and the rounded corners. And then you gotta re really strategize to lay it out just in a certain way that you're not smashing the good wood over hogs backs or in the draw, but also at the same time, you're getting the garbage wood, like the smaller hemlocks and balsams, you're getting them down and then he snags, you get them down first but you don't want to break the wood that's already down there, but you, yeah. So it's, you really gotta think and strategize and plan your, plan how you're gonna do it. Cause you can waste a lot of time and you can waste a lot of money smashing up valuable wood. And sometimes it's unavoidable and, and, and mistakes happen, but overall over the course of like, you know, a shift or like a, a block or something, it should be minimal, right? Um, unless you got some bluff, like sometimes there's a big bluff in the middle of the block and you got heavy leaners and there's, yeah, there's only so much you can do, right? So, all right, I'll see you guys. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. I got a point here, like the, the, the hill kind of goes goes this way and then it bows around a little bit. So it's like a little, little rounded ridge right there. And this was a low point in this side of the ridge. So that's why I'm over here this first half of the day. It's about halfway through the day now. And I was way down there this, this morning. So I got all that nicely laid out and, and bucked for the most part. Um, what was I gonna say? Um, yeah, so there's a slight, it was a slight, um, like from this edge here, it, the hill kind of bowed in just a little bit. That's why you can see like this pole here as an example, it's suspended up in the air in the middle. Luckily, I don't need a bucket in the middle, but, and luckily the that one there, the, the buck 
I just bucked now, it was not too high for me. So, yeah, so I had a little bit of a bow here, a dip, I should say, and then there's a rounded, not not like a, a uh, like a ridge back where it's a sharp ridge, but more like a rounded ridge. The hill kind of rounds around there, and then the big trees, you can break them in the middle, so you kind of gotta be careful about that. And then, so I'll probably put another tank, another tank or two, and then I'll be at that point right there, and then I'll bring up the middle, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I felt a raindrop. And we got a lull in the wind right now. Oh, look at I got a heavy leaner right here. Hung up in this hummock right here. All right, so always got to, as you're working, and as you're working your way up the hill, you always got to look what's up ahead. Always. Yeah, you always got to pay attention to what you're working into. Because you'll miss something if you're not, if you're not paying attention. You're going to miss something. So, yeah. All right, see you guys in a bit.